Can you believe people are fitting iPads into retrofitted car and truck dashboards? Yeah, me neither. Although, that is pretty cool. It's kind of genius. Hey, it's Chris. Today, I'm going to share with you some unexpected ways to put an iPad to use. The first few are kind of fun slash interesting. The last one might be life-changing. Let's just start with something practical here. If you go out and pick up a USB-C to lightning cable, like the one I'm going to link up down in the description for you, you can actually use your iPad Pro to charge either your iPhone or even your AirPods like this. That's pretty cool because it's kind of like having an extra power bank around, even if you might have forgotten to bring one with you. Now we all know that Siri isn't exactly the smartest assistant out there. <laughs> it's like I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> and that's whether it's on your iPhone, your Apple Watch, your HomePod, and yes, even your iPad as well. But an app called Lori GPT can functionally turn Siri into Chat GPT for you on all your devices. So you can use Siri to interact with Chat GPT now on all your devices, even your HomePods and even in CarPlay. So on the iPad, you can open the app, go into the settings, click on Siri, and then you can set up this Siri shortcut and it defaults to the phrase cut pineapple so it doesn't sound like anything else that might be system related, so there's no mix ups. So you can get that added really quickly, cut pineapple. Hi, it's Lori. How can I help you? So now when I activate Siri using that voice shortcut, I can actually chat with ChatGPT. Although be careful because it's very politically biased, but there's also this great widget which you can stick on your home screen so you can jump right back into the app. But personally, I like to use it when I'm using another app just kind of as a chat bot over there on the side. It's definitely useful, although personally, I prefer the business focused Jasper. And that's because it's got business and marketing focused workflows and templates. And it's got a Chromium extension for your Mac so you can use it on any website. And it has a chat bot which is super convenient and it can create AI generated art all with one super convenient app. So I'm gonna link it up down for you down in the description along with everything else in this video. Now, what if you wanna pretend like you're really great at drawing, but you actually have no skills? Well, you could fire up Procreate and do some tracing in the app. I mean, Procreate is definitely the app that I open up whenever I need to do some kind of art. And one thing that makes doing anything with the Apple Pencil so much better is using Paperlike, the screen protector. This is so much better than writing on the screen without the Paperlike. But what if you wanna trace on some actual paper using your iPad, that's actually possible. So before you can start tracing a picture, you're gonna have to change some settings. Because if you don't, as you're moving your pencil around on the screen, then the image is gonna move around as well. I'm gonna go into settings, and I'm gonna go to accessibility, and then I'm gonna go to guided access and turn that on. I'm gonna pop in here and set a passcode for that real quick. And if you do this and you set up a passcode yourself, don't forget it, because you're gonna need it to turn off guided access when you're done. The other thing I'm gonna do is say display auto lock never. Then I'm gonna pull up the thing that I wanna trace, which is this photo, and I'm gonna triple tap my power button. And if you have an older iPad, then you're just gonna triple tap on your home button. You might wanna grab some tape, and then I can go to town actually tracing out this photo. All right, I'm still no Picasso, but I mean, you get the point. This is a pretty neat trick. Now, I'm not recommending that you do this next thing. I'm just letting you know that it's possible because it's interesting and unexpected. There's a USB-C accessory from AstroPad called the Luna Display. It lets you use your iPad as a standalone monitor for your Mac, as demonstrated here by Byte Review, whose channel is Apple Focus, and you should definitely go check out. And it basically can turn your iPad into a wireless second display for your Mac or your PC, which is basically pointless for a lot of people at this point because Apple came out with both Sidecar and Universal universal control now. Again, I don't know why anybody would really want to do that as opposed to having an actual big external monitor, but still, it's possible and it's interesting. All right, so everything I just mentioned was kind of fun, a little bit interesting, but the next thing I want to share with you is something that could end up being more profound, maybe even life-changing. I'm not saying that lightly. So do me a favor, ask yourself what you really love, number one, and then what you're super knowledgeable about. So what you love and what you know. It could be maybe a hobby, something you're really interested in, or maybe something related to your job. In any case, ask yourself, is there something that you know enough about that you could sit there and talk about for 30 minutes, uninterrupted, with no notes, that you have really deep knowledge about, something that you can share, something that you could teach? If so, you could use the camera on your iPad to record and sell an online course that's capable of generating $100,000 a year. For example, many of you know I'm super into productivity, obviously super into Apple stuff as well, and I've made a course called Learning to Be Productive, where I can share all my knowledge about being productive in the Apple ecosystem, which you can actually check out for yourself at thegreatonboarding.com, 
or I'll have it linked up down in the description. But a lot of people are like, why do they even include a camera on the back of an iPad? And why do they make it so good? It's like practically as good as an iPhone. Well, this is why, because you can shoot, edit, and publish videos, whether it's for YouTube or a course, or for your website, or your clients, whatever, all on one device. Now seriously, don't click away. This is something that you can do. I'm putting this information together because the average person can actually make this happen with their iPad and their own skills, the skills I got right now. My man Justin Welsh actually makes this pretty easy to understand. So he says you can do all these different things, but we're gonna concentrate on this right here, making two sales a day at around $135. Justin's one of my favorite people to follow on Twitter. He talks a lot about being a solopreneur, a single person entrepreneur. And he says, look, here's the four things that you basically need. Attention, a landing page, a good product or service. We're gonna say that's gonna be your course that you can create with your iPad, and then a way to accept payment. That's it, don't overcomplicate it. I mean, honestly, a go-getter out there could listen to this, look at all the information, go get the setup in like 36 hours. And then I like this follow-up that somebody posted. They're saying for attention, you can use Twitter. For a landing page, card. For your product, you can sell it on Gumroad. For payment, you can use Stripe. So there's just some quick ideas just to get you started. Again, I'm gonna link all this stuff up down below for you. Now, personally, I do think that Twitter for the average person is the easiest and fastest way you're gonna be able to grow an audience that you can monetize. That's the key word there. You can grow an audience in a lot of places is, but Twitter is really good for making money. I would say you really only need maybe 5,000 followers, which you can definitely build up in three to six months. I've seen people do it in three months. And here's what I'm gonna do. I don't have time to cover all the Twitter strategy right now. It's not that hard, but I'm gonna link up some great threads that you can check out and dial in and nail building this Twitter audience. It's not hard, you can do it. And if you want that process to go faster, you can use something like Tweet Hunter, which I'll also link up for you down in the description as well. And I'm also gonna put down in the description some information about how to go about putting together a course. It's not that hard. Again, you don't have to overcomplicate it. It's so simple, I'm just gonna link to some resources. But in terms of using your actual iPad to film this, all you need is some really simple equipment. So for instance, on Amazon, you can get this $30 tripod and iPad holder kit. So that's great, if you're on a budget, this doesn't have to cost a lot. All right, so what about software? What software should you use? Well, for recording, you can keep it really simple. And honestly, you could get away just fine with using the built-in camera app, simple. On the other hand, if you wanna get more professional, you could check out Filmic. The Filmic app is great. They film actual movies with this sometimes. If you wanna get the absolute best picture quality out of your iPhone or iPad, this is the app to use. And then when it comes time to edit, you know, you can just use iMovie from Apple. It's free and it works really great. Easy to learn, simple. On the other hand, if you wanna kick things up a notch, you can use Luma Touch, which definitely takes things to a whole new level. Or finally, you can check out DaVinci Resolve, which just recently came to the iPad, and this is as pro as it gets, very full featured. I gotta tell you, you might be like, oh, I don't have a $3,000 camera and really expensive editing machine like a Mac or something. Really, don't worry about it. I mean, with the basic iPad and iMovie, you're golden, you're set, you can do it. Again, I'm gonna link up all the apps and accessories and my course if you wanna go check it out, either to become more efficient with your Apple stuff with less burnout or just to get an idea of what you can do with building a course to sell, how to do it how to market it. The other thing I wanna mention is that we have a great newsletter. People love it. The open rate is so high, I'm proud of it, at 74% consistently. If you know anything about newsletters, that's ridiculously good. But that's because every Friday we highlight some great apps and accessories for your Apple stuff. So check it out, it's dailytech, dailytekk.substack.com, or you can just hit the link down in the description. Thanks for hanging out with this video. Hope you found something useful. Good luck out there with your course, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.